friends! Today I'm going to be telling you my spring book recommendations. So this video is like a little bit late. I, you know, spring has been sprung for a few weeks now, at least here in Canada. There are shadows on the ground. That only happens when it's sunny here in Canada and it is sunny, so therefore it is spring. So hopefully it's spring where you guys are. Okay, spring books. This is not gonna include very many contemporaries, AKA there's gonna be one set of contemporaries all up in here. I'm not a contemporary person, so these are mostly gonna be fantasy-based stories. And the first one that I have for you today is the Dune series by Carrie Corp and Lori Langdon. This story is about two friends, Kenna and V, and they travel to Scotland for the summer just to kind of get away to a family house. And so when they get there, they cross over this magical bridge into this different world called Dune. It's based on a movie, which is based on a play. I recommend watching the movie regardless because it's great. 1950s dancing shenanigans. The book itself is really goofy. It's fun. It's like definitely reads like a contemporary book because the magic is very secondary. The main focus is the romance between V and McKenna and these two princes of this land. If you like the selection series, I feel that you would love these. Goofy time travel into Scotland meeting princes and also there's like a pizzeria there <laughs> so yeah so speaking of time travel I have here Outlander by Diana Gabaldon now for full disclosure I haven't actually finished this book last year I read like half of it and I put it down unfortunately and I'm gonna be picking it up I have a few review books that I need to read and then as soon as I'm done them I'm going to be reading this because it is amazing I love the TV show season two you know is a thing in the near immediate future so I'm just like really think that now was a really good time to be reading this series. It's a time travel story about a woman named Claire Randall who on her second honeymoon with her hubs, they go to this area of Scotland after the end of World War II and Claire is a nurse and it's just all kinds of cool stuff and she somehow gets sent back in time to 1792 and there she goes through these crazy adventures trying to quell the fact that everyone thinks that she's a British spy. Everyone either wants to kill her or have sex with her or both. So, I mean, it's an adult book. From what I've read of this, amazing, amazing. And I can't believe I put it down. It was just like really busy, I don't know. I don't know. The next book I have here is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas. This is the only Sarah J Maas book that I have read personally, but I need to change that because this book is phenomenal. Fairy stories are super, super springy because it deals with such spring feelings, you know, you know, if that makes sense. But so we have the character Feyre who ends up killing a wolf creature thing in the forest to save herself, but it was actually a fairy. So she is taken away as like a prisoner to pay her debts to this mystical kind of magical castle where the guy who is in charge, his name is Tamlin, he is a prince, and it's just like this weird Shakespearean fairy-esque story that deals with love and adventure and I just am such a fan of this book and I'm so excited because the second book is coming out I think in May so gonna be buying it even though I put myself on an unofficial book buying ban I'm gonna be I'm gonna be picking up book number two so now is a great time to read this if you haven't already or if you want to reread it hell I should do that next we have the Iron Fae series by Julie Kagawa this is a series about fairies if you've noticed a theme magical creatures of springtime delight and fancy Woohoo! so essentially I I've only read the first book of this series. So we have the main character, Megan, and Megan is a bit of an anomaly in her small town. She, through a series of unfortunate events, finds out that she is the daughter of the fairy king. This story is also like a Shakespearean style fairy book where the fairies are evil kind of and just like bizarre and creepy and weird. The cast of characters is just very entertaining. I feel that the execution of this basic plot is just amazing and it's very well written and it's just very good so I would recommend it. Next we have like the only contemporary book that I am going to be talking about today and that is Anna and the French Kiss series by Stephanie Perkins. So I've only read Anna and the French Kiss. I have not yet read Lola because I'm saving it for my trip to Mexico at the end of the month. These stories are a trilogy of companion novels focused in the same world, AKA our world, but the characters are intertwined. It's just like amazingly well-written love stories 
that and normally like I'm not a contemporary person but these are good like if you're not a contemporary person and you haven't read these I would tell you to give it an old college try because I thought I was gonna hate it and I loved it it would just be really good for a spring or summertime reading you know what I mean next we have the selection by Kiara Cass I just read this like last week and it is so good <laughs> well it's not so good but I had such a fun time reading it like let's be real this the premise is stupid but I loved reading it the experience was great this story is about a young girl named America America Singers who gets put in this weird lottery system that this kind of dystopian future has. This lottery puts you into a Bachelor TV, you know the TV show Bachelor style competition to win the love of the crown prince, the future king, Prince Maxon. So this story kind of is just like the shenanigans of princess-like grandeur being bitchy with other girls and forming female friendships and romance and like there's a bit of like a love triangle which is kind of annoying but I mean it works for the story. I'm definitely gonna be reading the rest of the series. I got the ebooks. It's so fun. It's fluffy. I mean it's a it's the bachelor. This is that, but like with the weird dystopian princess universe, <laughs> you know. Next we have the Sirena Legacy. So this series is a mermaid series. Yes, I love reading about fairies and I love reading about mermaids, especially around springtime because it just like makes you feel so like, ooh, magic, ooh, yeah. Through this series, Emma, the main character, meets a mysterious boy and she finds out that her mom is a long lost mermaid princess. Like I. I love this kind of stuff because it's just like so filled with childish wonder so I just love reading books about it and it's goofy and I feel that spring books are always better if they're like a little bit goofy it's just like a really fun story this book mainly focuses on romance however there's a lot of other stuff kind of going around there's like evil people and people who believe that because Emma is only half mermaid and she is half human they don't think she's good enough to be a sirena which is the name of the people who live under the sea Definitely give these books a try because they're just like super fun. All right, and the last series that I'm gonna be talking about as good spring books are the Luck series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. So the Luck series is like a sci-fi young adult fantasy with a huge emphasis on romance, but this series is great. I really, really, really enjoyed this series. We have the main character, Katie. So Katie moves to a small town and next door is this brooding kind of asshole-ish guy named Damon and he has a sister named Dee. So Katie and Dee become fast friends. I really don't want to spoil any of the plot because there's a really big plot point that's really important, but just know that this series is a sci-fi sort of alien-esque story with huge amounts of intrigue and it definitely becomes very dystopian towards the end of the story. Like things go down, like the first few books, very fluffy, very fun, but then all of a sudden shit gets real. And I loved the end of this series. Like it just went in such a weird direction and I didn't expect it, but I loved it. It's really good. If you have not encountered a young adult sci-fi story yet, I would recommend giving this a go because it's just so much fun. There's such witty banter, you know, and everyone is just like such a great character. Yes, I would highly, highly, highly recommend reading this if you haven't yet or if you've started and not finished. Pick it back up because the end. <sighs> all right, well, those are all the books that I would recommend to you for your springtime reading. I just need to mention these really snazzy sunglasses. They were sent to me by a company called Fermu. I think they're really pretty. 20 bucks. I think if you're in the States, you get free shipping. But like, look at the case that it came in. All in all, solid glasses. But yeah, so I'm just gonna leave like the links down below. Pretty cute. Please let me know in the comments below what your favorite spring books are because I always am on the lookout for new things to try and read but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching my video my name is Sarah and I will see you guys later